Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God, I love myself, and I love others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent, and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hello there, Hero. This is Nita here with Heroes Martin Homeschool Academy. It's good to have you here. Today we're going to do some exercises, so let's get started. If you have a whole number, whether one, two, three digits or beyond, you want to be able to write that in this expanded form, if you will. So let me show you how to do that. We talked about this in previous lessons, but today we're just going to just um, do some exercises just to make sure you're very comfortable, okay? The number 293, if we were to write that out, how many hundreds do we have? We have two. Two hundreds, so let's write that out. We have two hundreds. And how many tens do we have in the number 293? Well, if this is the hundreds place, then the tens place is right after. That's right, the tens place is right after the hundreds. So we have nine tens, let's write that as well. Nine tens. And how many, how many ones do we have? The ones follow the tens place, so this is the ones, or you can say units, you can say O for ones or U for units. We usually use U for units. There are three units. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and add our plus sign in between these numbers. Two hundreds plus nine tens plus three units is 293. Good, okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next number. We have 387. Let's write this out a little bit. How many hundreds do we have? We have three hundreds, good job, three hundreds. And how many tens do we have? Well, we have the tens follow the hundreds place, so we have eight sets of tens. And how many units do we have? Units is the final digit, we have seven units. Let's go ahead and put our addition sign here in between these, uh, these numbers, 300, So this is going to be equal to, 387 is equal to 300 plus 8 tens plus th 7 units. Okay, let's look at the final one uh, for this lesson. We have the number 956. How many hundreds do we have in the number 956? Well, we have nine hundreds. That's why we say nine hundred. 956 is 900. Okay, how many tens do we have in this number? We have five tens. I'm hoping this is becoming easier for you as you practice. And how many units do we have? We have six units, good job. So let's put our addition sign in between all of these numbers. And there you have it, 956 is equal to nine hundredths plus five tens plus six units. Boys and girls, that's all I have for you today. Please take care to review the content of your workbook and complete the exercises you can find there. But until next time, remember Jesus loves you. We love you. God bless. I'll be your hero's body.
And as you study with heroes more, I will be your 